Okay, Banjo Tooie. Are you going to be cooperative today, or are you going to be freezing again? I guess we'll just have to find out. Anyway, uh, Jinjo in there. You have a limited amount of time to take the T-Rex back and go grab it. And unfortunately, that's all that the T-Rex can do is scare the one caveman and get that Jinjo. And I'm using the speed-up key here, but I really don't know why, because I think this game has taught me by now that speeding up always leads to crashing. So, either I haven't learned my lesson, or I'm not entirely sure that that's what causes it. Really, that's my first jello? I didn't know that. Okay, so we've still got a bunch of stuff left to do. Um haven't really been in a large portion of the level yet. I could go up, but eh, I'm going to stay down while I can, I guess. Because I haven't been inside the mountain yet, except for the river passage. So the entrance to that is over here. And in here we've got a very large, very open cavern. The entire mountain is hollow, apparently. And, uh, not a whole lot takes place in here, though. So, let's just see. You have to get to the central island, and you're supposed to use a bridge to reach it, but the switch to raise the bridge is on the central island. So, there really isn't any point to ever raise the bridge, because the only way to get over there the first time is to fly and after you've done it the first time, you might as well just do that every time. Not that you'd ever need to come back, really. But whatever, I'm playing your game. There, I raised the bridge. What did that accomplish? I don't know. And instead of just flying up here, I'm doing this. Oh boy. That is a huge knack. And that is not the first huge necked thing we'll find in this game. Like how Banjo just doesn't care. He's standing there. See, that's what happens. That's what happens when you stand there and don't care about the colossal dinosaur in front of you. But, he's not all bad. I don't like how the camera like sort of zooms in there. It's sort of an unsettling sort of feeling. Anyway, I don't need to listen to what I have to do. I already know he's got ulcers. Which are, once again, the standard point thing. You really just, you don't even have to think about it, you just sort of rotate like this for the entire time. I could probably speed this up and still make it. In fact, I'm going to do that, just to prove that this game is really badly programmed. <laughs> this mini game, at least. But look at this, I'm getting way more points than I would ever need. That was kind of sad, really. I don't know what to say to that. Yes, you want to play again? No! It wasn't really fun the first time, and of course it freezes. Why am I not surprised by this? I'm really hoping that this freezing problem is something to do with the level. Because I've been speeding up a lot in other levels, and it never gave me this sort of problem. Only like once or twice. So I'm basically I'm just hoping that it improves. Anyway, I got that done, and uh, that's pretty much the only thing in here. Uh, there is a door up there. There's no sense in flying up there to it, because you can't really do anything, so... Let's just get out of here, and I'll head up the outside of the mountain, I suppose. Finally get around to doing that. I guess we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way with the load times and whatnot, because... Uh, I don't know. Better safe than sorry, I guess. I could continue to speed up and have it freeze and then resume halfway through the segment, but do you know how annoying that is? Because then I have to replay it and, like, eh. It usually freezes again. I have to keep making all these backup save states. Whatever. Um. Okay, I need... 
springy shoes to get up there. Isn't there a pair somewhere around here? Yeah, there they are. There are a few different places with that path to nest sign, and I think mo all of them will lead to the same general area. Oh wait, this is... Okay, um... Let's just keep heading on then. Okay, there's a pair of shoes right here. There was a pair inside the cave. I don't know what you'd ever need that one for. Oh, wait. Maybe... Maybe this was the cave that had it. It's so hard to remember. Yeah. Still don't get why it doesn't let you wear them in the cave, though. It th doing so doesn't help you. But whatever, let's just... Light, wait for it to load, and... Get across this stupid platform that's very easy to fall off of. And there we go. Here, basically, you just want to keep on running. Maybe time it to get some clockwork eggs, if you're lucky. And avoid the purple goo raining down on you. Uh, yeah, the one talking to me was Terry, the one the level's named after. and He's the boss, but I'm not going to fight him yet. Or her. Terry can be a girl's name. I don't remember if they ever say, actually. Actually, I think the zombie jingling says that Terry's wife left him, so yeah, I guess it is a male. Because he does have eggs that will come into play later. But anyways, instead of doing that, let's... Nice view of that platform, by the way. Ugh. Must never shut up about that. But... Let's just head over this way. There's a little side quest area. Which I will hopefully have enough time to do. Bonfire Cavern, aka Pointless Transition Area. That makes you use the ice eggs. And then the ice eggs just don't work. And then that happens. Hooray! Is this the first time I've died? I've died a lot off screen because I usually play it sped up at 14,000 times speed and then when it takes me back here, great. At least there was a warp pad, but still, what the crap. Okay, calling our old friend the speed up key again. Hoping that these things don't knock me down. That would be bad. I think those things are called Saurosaurs, which is actually a pretty clever name. Okay, let's try this again. I'm on the ice eggs. Let's uh, poo one out. Get rid of this guy, because he's annoying. And do this again. Hey! You little son of a bitch. <laughs> Holy crap. I might have to edit some of this out for time. Okay, finally through Stupid Bonfire Cavern. Didn't think it was going to be that hard. I just shot a grenade egg at the Saurosaur. I should have done that in the first place, but I didn't really want to switch. I mean, take the time it takes to switch. Anyway, there's a warp here. And here is, once again, the boss music playing. But it is not the boss. Instead, we get an ominous pan over giant footprints, and then an ominous shot of a giant foot. Which is basically all that you're going to see here. Just, you don't ever see it coming down, even if you look up. But anyway, uh, gold feather time. Let's just run and hope that I don't run out of these things. Uh, okay, please stop doing that. And then we can reach a Jiggy Hooray. And I'm assuming that once I edit out the one part, I'll have enough time to get across a second time. 
So I can do that. You have to get across as both of them together, as banjo only and as kazooie only. But I can't do the banjo only way yet. So for kazooie only, you just have to run for it. She's fast enough to make it between the footprints without getting hit. Banjo is not fast enough to do that, so you need a new technique in order to survive. Ugh, yeah, and if you do get hit, it takes you down to uh, one segment, no matter how much you started with. But whatever. Uh, I assume I'm out of time now, so let's just grab this Jinjo, and... Great way to end the segment. <laughs>